Hello everyone, welcome back to bewegendearchitektur.com um, In this tutorial we're going to check out how to make a simple animation here in a Phenotype. So uh, first of all, if you have already done the first uh, video tutorial, you have created your uh, single frame stress, stress analysis, we can hit reset in order to delete um, uh, everything and to have a fresh uh, uh, setup for for phenotype. Um, we're going to make a simple modifier in just to show what uh, is uh, possible here. So let's select this truss. Let's add a modifier and let's do the simplest one. I guess that exists. It's the simple deform modifier. Uh, sorry, I'm searching for it. Simple deform. Here it is. And what you can do here is you can simply twist a structure. So maybe let's do some, some turning uh, truss, just like this. Let's make a simple key animation. So I'm going to set the angle to zero. In the first frame, I'm going to hit the uh, uh, key E when um, over the, the angle zero in order to make it a key frame so uh, indicated by this yellow color let's go to frame 100 so we're going to make this animation a little bit shorter let's turn it around for some time and let's hit e again in order to create this simple animation so we press the animation we can see that uh, these um, truss is uh, twisted right so what we can do here is we can do set structure again in order to make it um, available for for phenotype we're going to set support and we're going to click animation in order to render uh, animation of this structural analysis or with this moving or somehow deforming object let's uh, call it like this so here in the frames uh, bar you can see um, the progress so we have created 50% of the structural analysis at uh, the moment as you can see we still have pressure force on the top we have drag forces on the bottom so in my opinion this is, is quite a cool shape so with only a very simple uh, deformation uh, of course we can set other um, types of uh, uh, supports for example let's check it out if this is working more like a cantilever we're going to set the structure we're going to uh, support only these uh, four uh, vertices at the end going to set support and do the animation again then we can see that this is uh, working like a, a cantilever but it's the same uh, principle so every frame is going to be analyzed uh, one by one and if you have done so you can go through the animation and you can see weak parts of the structure just by this visual output of drag and uh, uh, pressure forces uh, of course, you can also set other force types to be analyzed. So max uh, max axial is uh, this one we are using uh, using uh, most here in this animation. Uh, max moment Y and max moment Z are the moment uh, forces. Of course, you can also uh, change the visualization. So when you click up and down, you are able to um, adjust. Uh, the visualization if your structure is bigger or smaller and of course you can scroll through your timeline in order to see how uh, the forces are changing during your uh, animation during your movement uh, thank you very much for watching please check out also the third video it's going to be about uh, genetic mutation in blender thank you very much